y'all outside today. We are going to get a drink before the real drink. If you a real one, then you already know what that means. I don't even gotta explain it. So this is gonna be a great day. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. <laughs> going on beautiful people welcome or welcome back to the vlog i am your favorite cousin jess and right now it is 12 53 i ate breakfast i edited still not done i'm gonna get that video posted though but it's still not done and now i am about to run to my mom's house to pick up these tires because i'm gonna just return them at this point the car is still essentially doing the same shit that it was doing before homeboy my bomb ass mechanic who no longer is my bomb ass mechanic did what he said he was gonna do you know what i'm saying so it's like money down the drain and what the fuck did he do all that work for what you here for friend you ain't a friend i'm gonna just take that l and i know that that shit is gonna come back to me tenfold clearly he needed it so you can have it homeboy but <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just return them to Walmart, get my money back, cancel that tire appointment. And for now, the car is just gonna sit. I mean, it starts, I'm gonna post it, I'm gonna list it, I'm gonna sell it, and I'm forever a Jeep Wrangler driver at this point. Like I said, that ain't never let me down. So I'm gonna keep rolling with it. And that's what it is, cousin. I mean, I don't really know what else to do. I don't know <laughs> what else to say at this point besides fuck the bucket. I'm over it. And next go around, if I ever, ever do decide to buy another bucket or decide to get another bucket, I'm going to just take it to a real live mechanic, a real live shop, somebody that got some warranty. So if things don't work out the way it's supposed to, I can take it back, get it fixed. No questions asked, no money lost, nothing down the drain. Lesson learned. Huge, huge, huge lesson learned. And furthermore, you get what you pay for. And I forgot all of these morals and all this good shit that i'm saying like it kind of went out the window for me just because you know i'm thinking like oh it's a free car you know what i mean this guy he could work on it for the low bitch you real low at this point because you ain't even got shit you coming out of it with less than what you started with so lesson learned done with that that's a dub <laughs>
know what? Fuck that. I'm coming back because I need to really just let y'all in on and really let y'all know why at this point there's gonna be no more bucket. So essentially, last vlog y'all saw I took it to get the high pressure flush at his recommendation because technically, according to him, that was gonna fix everything because he's saying that there was a clog, which was why the stuff was possibly still bubbling up in the reservoir. However, as I said earlier, that was the same issue before he fixed the head gaskets, timing belt, water pump, everything else he fixed. So clearly, like I said, that work that he did, that money that I spent was for no reason because that didn't fix the problem clearly, which was what he said would fix the problem. So fast forward to after the high pressure flush, which never got done because they're like, no, the head gaskets clearly still need to be fixed because you're about to spend this money to get this done. And there's still something wrong with the head gasket because the radiator fluid shouldn't be muddied boom so i'm texting him this as the guy is telling me this to the place that i took it to and he's like oh well i did this i did that i did everything right okay bet but shit still not is where it's supposed to be he's like okay so i'm free on sunday today is tuesday Sunday is long gone. Haven't heard from him. Nothing. So that was my little rant this morning. The reason why I'm done with this bucket and I feel like he skated on me and why I feel like not that he got over on me, but yeah, he got over on me because like, where you at? And I text him this morning, y'all. Like I text him around 1030 and it's one o'clock and he still hasn't responded. Hence my reasoning and saying he needed that money. He skated and he kept leaving even after I paid him. And I kind of fought myself too because I never should have paid him. However, he telling me, I ain't no mechanic. He's telling me everything all good after I paid him initially. So I'm thinking everything all good because that's what he told me. Whole time, no, everything is not all good. But at this point, I know I can't get my money back from him because technically he did do work what work he did i don't know but he did do work however it didn't fix the car like he initially said so i can't get my money back but i also know the fix that he was coming to do on sunday which again it's tuesday and i ain't heard from the it's not going to solve the problem but i just felt like i needed to let y'all know you know what i mean the backstory of how i got from here to now here i'm just done with that car i could put some more money in it and get somebody else to fix it but at this point for what i might as well just cut my losses and figure out a way to make that money back and put my good money that i still got to use somewhere else in my pocket so that's what it is right now i'm headed to my mom's house to pick up these tires i think g is probably going to stay there because she don't want to go to the store those are the vibes moral of the story you get what you pay for take your shit to a real shop
All right, I was able to return the tires and the power steering fluid and fuel injector things I got and also the extra oil filter that I got. So I ended up getting back like a little under $300 from Walmart, returned the windshield wipers to UPS and now I'm headed to Kohl's to return the steering wheel cover as well as the seat covers. And then we're gonna go to Publix. And for the record, it is two o'clock and he still hasn't texted back. So he's bitch made and I'm gonna leave that at that. finished up in Publix. I actually like Publix and I probably come here more often if I wasn't so lazy. It's just a little bit out of my way so don't really come here but I spent about $200 which wasn't that bad for all the shit that I got so now I'm about to take this stuff home and run back to my mom's house and get Gia. of everything that I got from Publix. Got some croutons, got some of these pita cinnamon chips along with the strawberries, pears. There's some kiwi over here and honey, which is over there because I'm gonna do like a fruit salsa. I'm trying to get on my get back, eat right because my cruise is coming up, boom. Got some little mozzarella and pepperoni Lunchables for Gia. Some ground up Lunchables for me and TJ, just because these are good and just something to snack on and some crackers. More Lunchables for Gia. The turkey and the bologna. We got some wheat thins. I got some pepperoni and we already got some extra sharp cheese in the refrigerator. Needed some almond milk. Got Gia two soups, some Nutella dip things. I also wanted to try her on these Jimmy Dean morning combos just because it's something if she gets up before I get up, she can just pop these in the microwave and have her breakfast. 
I got these turkey sausage crumbles just so that I can make it with some eggs. I got some basil and I already got my pasta in the pantry and my chicken and everything because I'm gonna make a little chicken pasta salad. I got some ham for a little chef salad that I'm on this week. Apples for juicing and to eat because we have peanut butter. I got lemon. So I'm going for a snack and also for juicing. Plus I got some spinach for juicing as well just because I need to get my fiber and stuff up. I got some wraps and some naan bread and also some bagel things just for breakfast. The naan bread can go with the salad. I got some avocados from my pasta salad. Water. Some pickles because Gia likes them. We didn't really ran out of ranch so I need to get some more ranch. Pops for Gia. Her little baked chicken dinners that she likes. Some Slim Jims. Oreos for Gia. Got these because TJ likes these. Just a little healthy snack for him. I got these for me because I like these. These for Gia. These for Gia. Gatorade and juice for Gia. So that is everything that I got from Publix. So I'm gonna put all of this stuff away and go get Gia. Back home, worked out, showered. Now I am about to start making dinner. I'm just making some BLT wraps and also I'm gonna make the little fruit salsa so that we have something to nibble on. You know, gotta get your sweet fix. And then I think I'm also gonna make a couple juices because yeah, I need to juice a little bit, so. morning cousin it is 11 30 and i am just rising and shining because i was up until four o'clock this morning trying to get a video posted it is posted now so make sure if you haven't watched weekly vlog number three the monster trucks and all that good stuff i got a gray hair make sure you go check that out before after during then come back to this one whatever you fancy but i need to eat something i need to get some coffee i got a lot of emails that i need to answer so let me get productive. All right, so since it is now 11.40, I have like a few minutes before I have a report that I need to submit and breakfast slash lunch is real janky today. I'm just eating uh, applesauce because I dropped it out of the refrigerator and it popped open. So I'm gonna just eat the rest of that. And then I'm gonna eat one of these Lunchables just because I wanna put something on my stomach and I also juiced. So I'm gonna drink this carrot, apple, spinach, ginger, lemon, juice, and call it a breakfast of course with my water so let's get to it all right finished all of my work thank you jesus because those 16 emails felt like 100 but Got them done, it's 1.58. Ate my little ratchet breakfast. And now Gia is upstairs cleaning up her mess and we're about to go for a walk slash workout. She's going to uh, ride her scooter and I'm going to be walking slash jogging, trying to get, you know, some steps in. Let's go. Ah. 
So I marinated some chicken yesterday for dinner for this pasta salad that I want to make and I'll show you guys when I make it. It's like a really healthy recipe and it's really good. So if you guys want to try it, I got it from Pinterest. I'll link the recipe below. But as you can see, we've got packages. So for starters, I got a couple more packages downstairs, but I'm going to wait because I want to make a separate video for those because yeah y'all gonna like them but i believe this is like a little portable chair just for like the cruise that we're gonna be going on something that i can just slide in my bag real quick so i ordered this off of amazon it is linked in my storefront and it's basically just a little chair that you put together so essentially all the pieces just kind of connect into each other and it also has legs to like make it taller and it sits like really low so it could be used like on the beach or just wherever you want to pop out and sit and yeah it just folds back up nice and neat and small and you just throw it in this bag and boom when packages come like i'll be forgetting what i ordered so i can't even tell you what this is and so my facial wipes are running out. So I found these on Amazon. It's actually a different brand than I bought the first time. So I will link both of those in my Amazon storefront below. This is my new toaster because my other one, I think I bought that when I first, first moved in my first, first ever apartment back in college. How that toaster still working and functioning, I don't know, but she's on her last leg, so I thought I would be an adult and get an adult looking toaster. So it is a four, ooh, it's big, she big. Four slice, cool touch, long toaster. So this is how it is. So you can fit two slices here, two slices here. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the other one in this box because she gotta go. And I'm probably gonna start making my pasta in a short. marinated some chicken yesterday and I just marinated it with some Italian herbs, some olive oil, salt and pepper. So what I'm going to do is just boil it and then use the water to make my pasta because then my pasta will be more flavorful and I won't have to put too much seasoning in the pasta period. So and then to go with it we're going to have this garlic naan bread which is pretty good and I got the garlic one just so that I wouldn't have to put anything on it and I could use my new toaster. And the ingredients that I'm going to use for the pasta, as far as noodles, I'm going to go with some bow tie noodles and also a tomato, an avocado, and some basil. And as far as the dressing, I kind of just like to make that on my own. Normally, I will make like a vinaigrette. And this is probably the third time that I made this pasta. And it's just like a really good alternative when you want to eat right, I guess. I'll show y'all though.
so essentially the pasta salad is done i just need to let the noodles and the chicken cool a little bit before i throw in the tomatoes avocados basil and red onion and also the bootleg vinaigrette dressing that i put together so i'm just going to leave this out to cool a little bit and then i will mix everything together and heat up those naan bread and she'll be ready to bust down Y'all, that's nasty as hell. Good morning, cousin. Another day, another dollar. <laughs> it's so spicy. No, it stinks. It is Friday, and I don't know. For some reason this week, I've just been not into it. I've been into it once I get up, but it's... 12 o'clock and I just got out of the bed an hour ago. I don't know, I'm gonna try to get on my shit next week and get up when the alarm goes off at nine o'clock because this week, it ain't it. Like, that is enough, child. Got my water, took my vitamins, but I'm about to go downstairs, look at my emails, and I'm gonna just go outside for a run real quick just so I can get it over with because I'm trying to be like showered by like two o'clock because it's Friday and it's nice outside. I would like to wash the Jeep, but they're calling for rain tomorrow. I might just come back and just wipe it off just so I can take the tops and the doors and shit off just because it's nice outside. I don't know. We gonna see. I'll let y'all know. My office just gets terribler. Is that a word? <laughs> worse and worse every day. Just because it's so many boxes down here and I want to show y'all, but I don't want to give away the surprise. But I have this video idea that I want to do. And I hope that it's like reciprocated the way I want it to go in my head. I don't even know if I'm gonna look at my emails. I might just look at them on my phone. And then I'm gonna take her hair out today it has to come out today because she has swim lessons and stuff coming up soon yeah, and, cheerleading. and yeah she got a lot of stuff coming up and also i'm back at a little crossroads with my vlogging situation i'm about to switch out this lens i could definitely vlog with the 15 to 45 mil lens that came with the camera which i probably i probably should do that anyway but i want to try this 10 to 18 millimeter like i want to be on my casey nice that shit you know from back in the day just because this does have image stabilization the 16 doesn't and this isn't as heavy as the sigma 16 millimeter either but i would probably you know be better off with this just because when vlogging like y'all see how the background and stuff is like all blown out i don't really be needing 1.4 to vlog for real and i need to stop acting like that like why you being so bougie so i'm about to switch this out and see hold on all right this is the 10 to 18 millimeter and it's so freaking wide like i'm literally probably too like this far away from the camera if it looked like this you know i'm so close to the camera but it's so wide and i like that but i just feel like if i'm in a dark space or sometimes when you get too close to the camera it does get warped like you see my face ain't that long for real but i do like this and this isn't as heavy, heavy. as the 16 millimeter and i can kind of just keep it close this is so close to my face right now and it's still you know can be wide like the 16 i gotta hold that thing all the way back here my arm is stretched and it just gets real heavy but this i kind of like this i don't know i might vlog with this for today 
But also, I'm back with this ZV1 just because I just like the small form factor of that. Y'all, I'm all over the place. I'm gonna go work out. Cousin, first and foremost, is hot as hell. Second of all, the doors are off with the mirrors and the little foot pedals. I always keep my mesh shade on here. I never take that off because it just fits with my freedom panels. So I never really have to take that off. I vacuumed and that is all I did. It was too nice not to do it. So yeah, now I'm about to go take a shower and eat because I haven't ate, haven't had no coffee. All I had is like 10 cups of water and I need like 10 more. So let me go do that. We are all showered and basically just threw something on because I'm not really sure what we're gonna do this afternoon. Yeah, I think it's just gonna be probably really chill. It's always really chill around these parts. Like y'all know the vibes or whatever. I don't know what we about to get into. We might get into something, we might not. But yeah, it is 5.46. Probably we're just gonna get some food and just chill, so. What is going on, cousin? My hair is looking quite terrible. I need to retwist it for tomorrow. Wait for G to go put some clothes on and we're gonna run to the store. Gotta get a couple things for next week and TJ is going to cook on his Blackstone today. So we're gonna get some stuff to throw on there. And when I come back, I'm going to finish taking G's hair out, wash it and condition it, put some hot oil and stuff in it because Shorty's scalp, like look at my hair hanging out. Her scalp is quite flaky right now those are the vibes for today so let's get it popping <laughs> oh shit i forgot all this was off <laughs> great game Expensive price. We are done in Publix, but we didn't get everything we needed just because, I don't know, we just started shopping in Publix to be totally honest with you. So we're still kind of getting used to it. And while it is quite expensive, I like it. It's a better experience than Walmart, of course, but we're still going to have to go to Wise because the meats and stuff, granted they looked really good, just too, too expensive <laughs> for my pocket at this current moment. So leaving Publix, going to Wise. We are back home from the grocery store. I am just putting the stuff away. And then I'm going to start taking out Gia's hair and wash it and start my hair. So yeah, let me do it.
cousin so we've cooked on the grill but we're about to come in the house because it's getting a little bit chilly outside imani came and she started helping me taking out gia's hair so she has one more braid but i just tried to scrump and <laughs> shorty ball mm -hmm. Playing trances, going off to different places, different planets. Watch your aura pass me by, losing balance. What if we? Good morning, cousin. As you can see, I got myself together a little bit, retwisted my hair, or at least covered up the strands of my hair that were hanging out of my braids. Put my little lashes on, and it is 11 o'clock, and we're going out today, cousin. So yeah, I am getting ready to head out in about like five minutes went to a link up with christina she normally always takes me out for mother's day a little you know appreciation day started when gia got here and she's been doing it ever since so we are seven years in doing this so yeah we are headed out for a little girl's day rendezvous turn up ish on a good sunday so let's get this thing popping shout it that little flex she wanna know let them hold me body on tell me to go cousin so we made it up north a little bit we are going to get a drink before the real drink if you a real one then you already know what that means i don't even gotta explain it oh here you are face to face in this trashy bar another glass and i am going places makes me laugh above the irony of everything I like the way you're thinking I don't really care about the music on the dance floor I don't really mind all the smokers in the bathroom I don't care at all, baby, you got my attention So you were saying, oh no I don't see the logic of things It's quite a lonely world that we're living in oh, baby, you Oh, this is gonna be a great day. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Something special, I'm sure. Everything makes total sense when you're next to me. all right cousin that is it that is all thank you guys so much for spending this week with me i appreciate y'all and y'all know if you're a real one then i will see you in my next one he has nothing to say <laughs>